Good morning, party people. Welcome to The Breakdown with Johnny. Thanks for coming by and hanging out where we're going to check out something that is no doubt... Oh, my man boobs are kind of crinkling up the word, but what I was getting at was Metal AF. And it's also fun. If you like this shirt, you can get it from our merch store. Um, if I totally just annoyed you with that horrible thing about my moobs, I'm sorry, but still buy a t-shirt. We'd really appreciate that. Anyway, today I'm going to check out the brand new one from Arch Enemy Dream Stealer, uh, which is what I've been doing from you guys for a long time, is stealing your dreams of this channel actually being half decent. But you're still here, and I appreciate that very, very much, especially while my body, my body, while my body is not here, while my buddy is not here, uh, because he's in Italy on his honeymoon. Um, Arch Enemy have been around for a very long time, and they're a very, very well-established metal band. Uh, we check them out quite a bit on this channel. Most of the time when they drop something, we check them out because it's always impressive. Alyssa is an incredible front woman, uh, and her and I have something in common. Can you guys guess what it is? Uh, no, it's not that we're both fantastic vocalists, but you would be right. Uh, her name is Alyssa White Glutes, and I've got a couple of white glutes that I'm sitting on right now. So, you're welcome. Apologies in advance. Apologies for that as well. Uh, I'm just going to get straight into this one. Thanks for hanging out with me. Three, two, one. Ooh, stormy. Looks really cool. We got that big... Yeah, I was gonna say satanic. Welcome to hell vibe. But this doesn't look like hell. I'm just waiting for this to just explode into Rift City, baby. Let's go. I'm sorry for pausing it in the middle of this, but we have not had a chance since this began to even take a breath. This is relentless. It hasn't let up. This, like, I mean, is it any surprise why this band has been around for so long and consistently dropped great music and kept a huge fan base and continued to grow? This is like, number one, it is metal as fuck. It's so intense. They are just beyond technically proficient. They're such great players. Absolute weapons. It's, it's just wild. Uh, I also really liked that um, Dream Stella, a little bit of that gritty sort of open vocal vibe there. Uh, I'm sorry for that interpretation. That was terrible. But yeah, I like that, that sort of tone on her. Um, it's not something I think I've really heard from her that much. Oh, 
That always gets me. On both of the two times I've heard it. Cool little backing riff there as well. Those harmonies are fucking rad. Hammering that ride symbol there. Production is great too. Let's go again. Just an onslaught of guitar with street. Tap it in, brother. relentless it comes at night that's what she said I really enjoyed that that was fantastic man whew. now look obviously that style of metal isn't for everyone that was quite intense it was super fast uh, but god damn that, that band is just so good she's an absolute just weapon just such a strong vocalist and so dynamic. Just got so much range and, and capability. It's insane. Um, I think she was, yeah, like obviously when they changed from the last vocalist to her, as with any lineup change and especially vocalists, there's a lot of people that were like, oh, it's not the same, blah, blah, blah. And I mean, it's not like metalheads to ever be militant or, you know, narrow-minded like that is it never um but yeah i think i think that like she's well and truly well and truly earned her place in this band as an absolute powerhouse and the bottom line is you have to be when you're playing with people like that you know whether it was a guy or a girl or whoever was joining the band when you're standing in front of people that are that gifted and just have put that much work into their their craft and their musicianship. It's just out of control. It makes me feel so absolutely just inferior as a musician because they're just freaks, absolute freaks. I, re I really enjoyed it. That The shift into the sort of Judas Priest-esque um, kind of got me a little bit. Um, but by the last one, it was, it was something that I had become familiar with, so it didn't throw me off as much. And yeah, just the shred was out of control. The drumming was out of control. Um, I also really liked the film clip too. It was it was well done. It was it was cool. A lot of cool imagery and stuff like that. And I like when it's cool, cool. Uh, anyway, what did you guys think of that? Have you checked out that band before? If not, and you want to, they have a very extensive back catalog. So. If it's, you know, a day where you got not much on and you enjoyed that and you want your ears to be absolutely pummeled by some of the finest metal on the planet, that's, look, I've, j I've just given you a reason to waste your weekend in the best possible way. So, you know, and then if you get absolutely nothing else done with your weekend or your day or whatever because you've been smashing their back catalogue, come at me, bro. I back it. Anyway, uh, again, thanks for hanging out. 
feel free to go and uh, share this around. If you haven't liked and subscribed and you're still here, that would be great as well. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.